Hi everybody, Alex Deployo from Expert Forex. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the most critical skill of selecting the right currencies for trading. And we, I'm going to be supplying you with a free indicator that you can download from our forum after this video and another free indicator which is only really free to our bundle purchases but is also available to you as a purchase and I'll give you more details about that. And that indicator is called the currency selector indicator and looks at many aspects, margins, spreads, all kinds of things to help you select the very best currencies for your trading. Now the first free indicator is the ATR indicator and it's just a very simplification of the really big one because what we do is all this one does is prints a number in the bottom right hand corner of your screen that tells you how volatile the, tra the currency is that you're trading. Now what is volatility? We measure that in terms of the ATR which stands for the average true range that a currency will travel. So let's say we're looking at the daily ATR. It tells us the average range from the high to the low that that currency has over a period backwards, let's say uh, 14 candles backwards or 20 candles backwards, it takes the average and if you do that with all the currencies, you can tell which ones vibrate or have the highest range when they trade. Now, why is that important? That's pretty important when you're trading breakout trades and you are a trend trader because you want to catch the currency with the highest volatility. That's the one that's going to go the furthest to give you the greatest profitability. So I'm going to show you this indicator live on my charts that I use every single day. Now, here are some of my analysis charts that I use. This is the four hour chart and I'm looking at uh, I've got various indicators on it, some moving averages and the RSI in it. But you can see the ATR indicator on each of these charts. And let me just give you an idea of how I use it. Now, if you look at these mauve or purple charts over here, you'll see that the price action is more or less the same. The price went backwards and then trended like crazy. The price went backwards, trended like crazy, went backwards and trended like crazy went backwards and trended like crazy and you could have got into uh, all of these uh, trades uh, quite easily using the stepping technique that I show in one of my most recent videos. Anyway, so you look at these charts and you say, now they look the same. Which one should I tr trade? Okay, so let me give you a few ideas. Firstly, if you look at the numbers here, 27, 43, 30, 30. So immediately what I would do is I'll trade number 43 because 43 moves more when it moves and is more volatile. So I can get more pips from that those movements than a low volatility uh, currency like uh, that has a lower ATR. Now to give you an idea, let me measure the the, 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 the the number of pips in this particular trend and in that trend and, and in the other trend. So so here we go. So this is one with a low ATR. So we expect fewer pips. Now this trend was quite a strong one. 140 pips uh, or 150 pips in this particular trend. Now, if you do the same with this particular one, now it looks, can you see it looks smaller, but there's 240 pips. Now that's a huge difference. And what's deceiving is that these charts look more or less the same. That trend in fact looks smaller. That is why I print these numbers on there because when you look at the, the charts without those numbers, they deceive you. You make the wrong decisions. So by, tra by trading that particular currency, you could have made 50% more, more pips 
than that one that looks much bigger and stronger and all that. Now let's have a look at this uh, this one, which is the Aussie yen, uh, 200. So th again, that's less than the 240 of that one. And let's see how this one went. That's the New Zealand. It really trended quite a lot. Uh, 220, pretty close. So you can see by just using these numbers as a guide, you can make selections about which currencies to trade, especially if they look the same. And if you look on this side, on the pink charts, then you see the same kind of thing, the same setups, uh, a retracement and then a trend, a small retracement, a trend, small retracement, trend, small retracement, a trend. And we could just do another test here and say, all right, how big is that trend? 170. How big is that trend? 100 or 107. Can you see the difference, the importance of that number? And I do not trade if I don't know that number and I can compare that number to the other currencies that are providing beautiful trade. Okay, you can go and download this one from our forum. The link will be in the description of the video as well as in the commentary of the video. And why I like it on there, you can have as an indicator at the bottom here, but it takes a lot of space by having a little number there. And you can actually change the size and the color of that number. Have that number there. It's out of the way. It doesn't interfere with, with your trading, but it provides critical information. So let's move on to another tool that tells me which currencies to trade. And I use that tool every time I have to make a unique trading decision. Like for instance, at the moment, we are trading the GTM trading competition, and you want currencies that have a big volatility relative to its spread so them so that the multiplier aspect of the gtm can kick into place and you can cash in over and over and over again because of the increased volatility so let's go and have a look at that and that's also part of my trading uh trading charts i'll just go in here and you can see there's the currency selector i've got the dream machine there but because uh, that supplies me with another uh, element of currency information but here is the currency selector. Okay, now there are a few aspects when you're looking at currency selection, there are a lot of aspects that you need to take in account. You need to take into account the trendiness of the EA. Is it going sideways or is it, is it uh, uh, trending? So there's a trendiness aspect. There's also spread factors. How much volatility are you buying for the spread that you're paying the the broker very important uh, there's the weekly volatility there's also swap and margin information that is almost impossible to get out of mt4 if you just look at mt4 so this tool extracts uh, swap and margin information and there's also spread volatility now spread volatility talks about how much does the spread go up and down during the day and that is a scary scary thing to look at because sometimes the spreads can go from three pips to 20 pips and that's just a normal day no major announcements no anything else we have seen brokers go from very small spreads to ginormous spreads okay so here we go um i'm pretty passionate about this currency selection thing because i since i started doing this i it was like printing money because I used to just say, oh, I'll trade the euro because it's, you know, and everybody else is trading the euro or whatever. And um, my whole world changed when I started looking at these kind of aspects. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just to, to say you have the different tables and you can switch them all on and off like this. You can even f uh, close the whole thing down so that it doesn't bother you too much. But let's look at the currency trendiness, uh, for instance. Now, Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. There are other videos, and I'll show you where to find them on this. Uh, the trendiness basically says, if you've got an ATR of, of so many pips on a daily basis, and you've got an ATR of so many pips on a weekly basis, and so many on a monthly basis, uh, if you compare the, the daily with the weekly, ATR, you can tell how trendy the uh, the currency is. If the daily is okay, so compare if you can then compare the weekly ATR over the daily, and I'll just sort this table. That says that the weekly is only one point five 
of the uh, the daily so in other words so in this particular case it says that the weekly is only 1.5 times the size of the daily volatility so this is what we would call a more sideways currency so this this, this is what we would call a less trending currency whereas here the weekly is 2.6 of the uh, of the daily which means that there is more movement within the week and uh, and this is a more trendy currency uh, and you can do that uh, using the monthly and the daily. And again, those blue lines are the indications of the highest and the lowest. But I'm not going to go into this too in too much detail. Let's go and look at the. Uh, so that was that was trendiness. I'm going to hide it now, and we'll go just talk briefly about uh, spread factors. Now they are they're the spread factors. So again, I've got the ATR here, and I'm saying this is the at volatility of the particular currency. And then I look at the spreads now the spread firstly each uh, each spread has a pip value uh, the it has uh, the sp spread in pips and therefore you can calculate the value of the the dollar value of your spread and that's what this does and again to get these values are not is not easy if you look at at uh, at mt4 in the first place then uh, you can start uh, doing things like comparing the atr with the pip value with the spreads but i like using this one the atr compared to the spread in in dollar terms and i like sorting this one out and saying in other words you get most value you get more volatility for every dollar that you spend on a, on on a spread when you trade the cad for instance and the pound and again you see the pound comes up as a as quite a good currency uh, as 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 seen earlier so those are the ones that you get good value for you get more volatility for the dollar you spend on your uh, spread and these are the ones where you get the worst value for volatility so in other words the spreads are so high like here yeah, the spreads 12 that you're buying very little volatility so there's a balance between the cost of your spread and the volatility that you buy some of these these concepts could be a little bit advanced for you but you once you start using them they make sense then we look at the weekly volatility in days like mondays tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays which days are the most volatile and so on and uh, we look at the weekend gaps that occur on each currency there's a, a this is a weekend gap a meter so people that trade the weekend gap can just sort this and say the uh, these these currencies don't gap much but these are the ones that gap a lot and they can then select their currency accordingly and then this table gives you some really great information regarding spread volatility uh, and so you have your minimum spread your maximum spread and your average spread and uh, you and and the same information in terms of dollars and uh, now the I like using accounts that have fixed spreads and this is exactly what you're seeing in this table the uh, these spreads are, are fixed and therefore there's no volatility and I on purpose choose accounts that have no spread volatility because they mess around with the spreads too much I rather pay more the, the, these spreads are more expensive but I rather have certainty about the spreads, and so so this is what you're seeing here. Um, then there's another one, um, the swap and margin information. Uh, it, it it gives you the uh, swap uh, costs and the margin that you need when you're trading. Very important. This is so important. If you're based in Australia, they can change all of that in the next few days. And you need to be aware of when you trade, how much margin do I need in my account to trade this particular uh, currency and it varies a lot uh, uh, you know from from three hundred dollars up there to six hundred double in certain um, in, in the case of certain currencies so this information is pretty is pretty cri critical and again we do we do calculations about uh, how the value that you get for the margin that you place on a deal and as I say you can either see all these tabs or fold them up so let's go and see where you can find these 
indicators. Okay, this is a free forum. You, you, you do need to be a member to go and see what's going on in it, but it's totally free. You just join and you can do all kinds of things. And I'll just show you the one aspect and how to find them. I know that some of them are difficult to find. So, so here you have categories that uh, like there's the owners forum. Each EA has an owners forum and, and uh, free courses, fantastic free courses, free robots that you can download, free indicators and indicators. And we're talking about a free indicator. So obviously this is where you'll find it. Download the latest free forex trading tools here. So you go in there and that is where you will find the most amazing free indicators. Here you can see there's, uh, there's ha almost 150 free indicators that you can download. Uh, there's some um, market phase indicator, spread monitoring tool. Again, I'm talking about the spreads. So there's a whole lot of free stuff that you can uh, download. And then what you would do is I'll post a link in the description of the video click on that and it will take you to the ATR indicator and you, obviously that is a free download then the uh, let's have a look at the currency selector and here's the currency selector uh, it uh, again that link will be in the description and in in the first commentary of the video you can go and have a look at uh, uh, all and read all about the currency selector we try and put all the training in our marketing pages before you even buy or or access a, a particular tool so that you know what it's all about so it actually here's a whole lot of description about what what happens but there we are you have six training videos on how to use the currency selector and that's why I was so fast there's just too much to 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 to, to, to tell about the um, uh, and and we've got the six videos that will overview currency selection. so it's a course on currency selection right there for free in fact I think you can actually do these uh, you can actually click on them and do these before you even buy this currency um, selector uh, tool. Um, it does come free with most of our bundles that, that you can purchase. So it is a free um, a tool, uh, but if you want to buy it, it is, and let's see how much it is, it's an, uh, $39 uh, if you're a first-time uh, 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 client, if you are a YouTube subscriber, it's only nineteen dollars ninety-nine, and if you're an existing client, it's nineteen dollars ninety-nine. So great tool, really. Uh, I I can't uh, trade without it. That's why I've got it so high up on my uh, uh, list of tools that I use when trading. Now I hope this video has given you some ideas of the importance of currency selection and how all the factors you have to take into account to select a currency like how trendy it is what the uh, volatility is what the margins are what the spreads are and so overnight uh, overnight charges are and so on and so on and but once you have done that course that's free and uh, you know how to do this it becomes second nature so from me Alex Deploy, cheerio